I am an ADHD adult, and what I do for a living is I help ADHD people succeed. The success that you're going to have with me, it's not going to be to get me to want to enjoy sitting still. You know, I'm never going to go, wow, I really like sitting in this desk. And so students with ADHD, knowing how you can get them to work independently and have success without it being a classroom management nightmare um, is important. I think it's difficult for someone who is uh, organized, rigid, and the same every day like me. I'm the same, I mean, the same thing. So ADHD kids probably hate my class. And you know, there are little things that you can do to engage. You know how I do the high five thing? Well, if you got a kid like me, do the high five thing. Um, I think Kevin gives a lot of that um, that information and that understanding as to, all right, how do I connect with these kids? How do I get these kids to be able to work independently so I can differentiate my instruction and have things set up in a way that I can meet all kids at their level? ADHD derives from differences in the size, shape, structure, and functioning of the brain. ADHD children have a decreased volume in many areas of the brain. You've probably, a lot of you have probably seen these scans. There's no ADHD, okay? This is the prefrontal cortex. This is the executive of the brain. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. A lark, a spree, it's very clear to see. <laughs> Spoonful of redolent helps him focus on his math and avoid his father's wrath and maybe take a bath. I was just blown away because there, you know, we see as teachers we see a lot of speakers, and when they when they speak you you, you get lost you, you you doze off you tend to check your phone, but his energy level was so high that I had my phone next to me I never even looked at it once because I didn't want to miss the next thing he was going to do or say. Thank you, people. I want you to remember that.